Better prepaid fiber that works for you and your wallet with Zoom Fiber. It's the ultimate pay-as-you-go fiber connection minus the contracts and paperwork. You pay what you can, when you can, to use your data for what you want. And when your bundle runs out, you can just recharge. WhatsApp Zoom Fiber today on 60 8986 or visit www.zoomfiber.zo.za to learn more. The only station giving you the biggest concerts, the biggest prizes, the number one station for summer. What's going on, guys? This is Post Malone. Yo, what's up? It's Coyle Ray. Hey, it's Taylor Swift. This is The Weeknd. Hey, it's Susan. This is David Guetta. It's the best season in the best city. From the station with all the hits... This is Deshaun Reese representing on 61441. And before we come here, we had Upurti and Togosis is Kosana give us a motivation about positivity and negativity, which is something I enjoyed. And uh, you heard me, ne? I said it. I want to book him an interview at my show, Sizokul Magash, because he has a lot to say. Trust me, he has a lot to say. And uh, he didn't have enough time on my show. You see, on my show, um, I'm going to give him t- enough time. But anyways, we are here to check at the entertainment news on what your celebrities are on about. What are they up to? Yay! Yay! But actually, we're going to start all here with Makazi reportedly in contact with medical specialists following concerning Facebook post. What Facebook post now? All I saw was a post of Makazi and she doing that signature of hers lay of falling down and then rolling backwards uh it says here in the entertainment industry mental health struggles are not a myth with several artists in the past having died by suicide award-winning artist uh, makata's fans were right to panic when they came across her worrying post i didn't see that post but i'm a fan and i'm worried what happened okay sorry real name ndivu zanyi ralevona the singer over the weekend I am now ending my life for good. RIP to myself. Please don't call me. Uh, no one will answer. Uh, she then deleted the post. But it was already late as screenshots of the post had already made it to uh, the other platforms such as X. As the post gained traction, many began to worry about the performer's mental health, wondering if she can be su- if, she f- if she could be suicidal. Guys, in the music industry, near it yeah, when I just music industry, all I can say is it's not for the faint hearted. Ne? Even though you say it's not for the faint hearted, at the end of the day, music industry is not for anybody. It's not for everybody. It's for the strong people. But for people like Makazi, people who have a huge name, it doesn't mean once they face things, at times they are tested. That's what I can say. They are tested if they can take their life or are they still, you know. So that's why I'm like, um she shouldn't feel that way man Ish. she needs prayers that's all i can say you see mina nyam kulmela mina as a fan of makazi Guti, we need to pray for her you know because this music industry guys is not ish guys but anyway speaking about the music industry tyler and master kg among the winners of african entertainment awards in the u.s Tyler received her first Grammy nomination over the weekend, which also recognized Mosaki, Mostakis and Mzanti comedian Trevor Noah. Yes. I mean, oh, man, eh, eh, me, let me lay it out. Ne? Tyler is receiving everything because of whoever's handling her. Ne? You know, like, yo, I'm not going to die. I'm not. Tyler is receiving everything. And then that person, we all know, whoever's handling everything at Tyler and making her show my Josie's ex boyfriend, you know, so like. But speak up to Tyler, no jealousy and all that. But yeah, we all know Guti, she's, re- she's receiving all the glory because the water hit maker walked away f- with best female artist Gong beating fellow musos such as Thames and Makazi. Whoa, she beat, she beat uh, Thames in best female artist. Hey, whoa, she's very strong. No lie. Yo, if she got, she got into an award over. Thames. Do you know who's Thames? Even. But anyways, no, no lie. You know, anyways, you know, like, you know, it's cool, guys. You know how. 
Yazin. But anyways, moving on, we come to this other side, you know, where um, another DJ, you know, DJ Maporisa feels rumors he is still with Tulipong after the assault case. What happened with these two, man? And uh, what is happening with these two? Something is wrong. Go on, so about these two, you know, and I mean, I am getting bored. Like, bro, I don't want to lie. I am getting bored with this. Hey, hey, to the Pongolo, this and that and that, yada, 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 and umuntu aike. Guys, me, I'm getting bored with this situation. Even Saint Puji was like, even Saint Puji came through just to admit how much she loves Maporisa. And uh, she says she doesn't wanna, she doesn't mind being in a relationship with him because if he assaults her, Baza Lunis, he, yes, Natandu Buga, Natandu Buga, man. But, anyways, this is not about saying Puji, we don't care. DJ Maporisa said tongues wagging after he reposted a picture of Tuli Peng Pongolo on his Instagram stories, while many fans believe that the pair broke up following an assault case. The picture seems to have. Proved otherwise, Pori's posting Tuli's picture has also fueled other rumors that he is the one who paid for her alleged BBL. Man, 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 man. Yo, Lena Lady, crisis, Lena Lady, But hey, since I'm still reading here, it says, um, Tuli Pongolo solved their case privately. That's what, that's what is being said here. Yeah, she solved their case privately. Uh, she solved their case privately. In all fairness, the pair never said they broke up, but announced they will solve their problems privately. So if like I, so them fixing their problems privately, well, man, well, all I can say is, good luck, guys. You know, as long as you guys are managing to fin to fix your problems privately, you know, uh, yeah, it's it's up to you guys. But anyways, me nangi ko na lani ni Tishan Rizzo representing on six fourteen forty one. Um, we are having fun, you know. Nothing, nothing's wrong. Yeah, namshan di lang ali R and B, um, and from from out of respect to pay, res- you know, just to send a shout out. Uh, today I'm playing Emix Yagalani D because uh, what's this? The stream is already the the live video is already out there, man. Like man, you know, it's already out there. So everybody who's live is still watching. Please, this is Smooth Operations 20 by London D. Yeah, it's a mix by London D, my brother. My, uh, I feel like London D is my, is my mentor because, man, when I met London D, man, he was DJing at this club, Ekakas. And then uh, as London D was busy DJing, I fetched him and I was like, bro, I'm a DJ, man. Thing is, the way you DJ is more familiar to the way i dj you know mixing hip-hop and r&b but knowing when to time it and knowing when to cue it knowing when it plays hey bro that's one thing i respect about london d you understand so i'm sending while everybody's listening i am gonna make sure he gets this clip i am sending and i'm giving him his flowers you understand this is giving him his flowers he should receive his flowers knowing that Deshaun Reezy was on radio giving him his flowers saying London D oh you're a dope DJ shout out to you bro you know I was listening to your other mix I don't know which smooth operations but they yay yay our boss oh papa that's why I always post and say London Tiki boss oh. <laughs> but anyways let's get into the mix y'all do the most of the most this is Deshaun Reezy representing 016-1441 Mr. Diamond Wokemoyin, and as we are going to this mix moment, this is Smooth Operations 20 by London D. Double up, double up, double up, double up, le mali ya bomokab, double cap, remise a kabula, et tu bai hai, se abu dab, abu dab, double up, double up, double up, double up, le mali ya bomokab. Double cup, remise a